15 months ago when I got here, you know, I felt so out of place and like I was stupid, I was a stupid foreigner. I'm going to coin a new phrase, places like Jerez are Mexico overloaded, but I will be back, you know, that's the thing, I will always come back to Mexico regardless what happens in life. Niños are leaving. That's it. <laughs>
And in terms of Jerez, in terms of why I can't pronounce it, is because I'm used to saying it the Spain-Spanish way, Jerez. And there's a couple of things about this town you should know. In terms of Jerez, the reason why I'm used to saying that is because I'm a Formula One fan and the Spanish Grand Prix in Spain used to be held in Jerez de la Frontera in Spain. And the interesting fact is the founders of this Jerez, Jerez, uh, <laughs> um, were from there, Jerez de la Frontera in Spain. So uh, interesting. And the other point is that it was a significant defense point in terms of the Mexican Revolution. So. Um, the road between Zacatecas and Guadalajara was um, defended here, essentially. Fascinating. Sorry about this, but there are tears in my eyes right now. You might be able to see them, because the um, voice is going as well. How stupid and embarrassing, but never mind. I just found another church. See, this is genuine reaction. I've talked about that in other videos. Let's have a look inside. Now that I'm back in this beautiful central area in Jerez, let's talk about Tamborazo. So uh, there is no direct translation in English as far as I know, but tambor is drum in Spanish as far as I know, tambourine, you know, so it's all about drum. So there's banda as well, um, which is like a larger band, I believe, but Tamborazo is a smaller one with like four or five guys and you get people dancing and stuff. You saw that in one of the other Zacatecas videos. And um, there is actually a festival here from tomorrow until Saturday, I believe. Sunday, yeah. And um, it's just such a shame I can't be here for that because I need to go to Monterey. But um, hopefully we can capture some tambarazo later. But first, we're gonna have some ice cream. I spy with my little eye, something beginning with La Michoacana. Who needs proper food when you can get helado in Mexico? Spectacular. So I've got Haiti Limon with um, hundreds and thousands. Yes, they are called 100 and thousands. They're not sprinkles. British English is the best and you've got like a chocolate wafer thing in there as well and you can also get like chocolate sauce and stuff. There's a little Nino looking at me while I'm filming this. <laughs> Nino Sardibli. <laughs> Look at this. OMG to the max. Mm. The lemon is spectacular. What's the word? Tart. That is the word when it comes to lemon. It's not bitter, it's not sour, it's perfecto. And it's got like a little bit of cheesecake in there as well, kind of thing. Mm. Heavenly. And it comes in a little wafer, a little basket thing. This is amazing. This is even better than the one in San Luis, I've got to say. And this time, there's no Bee Gees in the background. Just no bikes. Jerez is definitely one of those places where you don't necessarily have to have anything planned in terms of things to do and places to see. You can quite happily just wander around through these little streets marvelling at coloured buildings and different coloured shop fronts and locals eating tacos for 10 pesos and street dogs fighting in the street. And you can, might be able to hear it in the background, that noise, the water truck, you know, they're selling the big things of water. This place is just awesome and it kind of feels like you don't have any problems here. Everyone's quite laid back and welcoming. Obviously people would have problems, but you know, for me in my point of view right now, coming to my end of the end of my time in Mexico, this is a perfect place to come. Beautiful. Can we just take a moment, amigos? 
but behind me, Tambor Azo is happening. At least I think it is. There's like four guys playing instruments. One of them's got a cello again. I think it's the same guy from earlier. It might be a double bass. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed having a look around Hades. I know it's only been a short whirlwind trip, but I have time constraints. I need to be back in Zacatecas, and I wanted to highlight my thought of the day, which is not going to be about Mexico this time. It's going to be about me because this channel is called the Tower of David, the Journey of David, and. Um, for me, being here today, even though I will be posting other videos from Mexico after this, until I leave, this feels like the last video in my head. Mentally, I think I've got to the point now, I'm going to cry again, where I feel comfortable being in Mexico. 15 months ago when I got here, you know, I felt so out of place and like I was stupid. I was that stupid foreigner and my Spanish was awful. And I know it's not great now, but you know, <laughs> in terms of pronunciation and vocabulary and everything it's vastly improved i think and the fact that i can come to someone like this now feel comfortable feel at home where it is mexico overloaded this is the mexico i didn't know about 15 months ago i was ignorant and naive about mexico as well and i'm just glad now that i've been able to experience this over the last 15 months and mexico is my home you know i may be moving on to other countries but I, as I've said before I feel like I have to you know this channel is about travel I am about travel it's not just about being in one country but fundamentally Mexico is now my home I think you can tell by the fact that I've been emotional in this video that um, I don't I don't want to leave in many ways but in some ways I do but I will be back you know that's the thing I'll always come back to Mexico regardless what happens in life and um, that's it <laughs> And the last thing in this video will be a special treat when we get back to Zacatecas to see out our time in this wonderful state. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and everything else that I always ask you to do. Thanks for watching, and I'll um, catch you later.